Virgo, this is Soul. And Virgo, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of August 22nd through the 28th, 2016. Okay, so Virgo, let's get right into your messages. For some of you this upcoming week, you have the potential of dealing with the uh, Prince of Swords in the reverse. So this is a week of, uh, for some of you, indecisiveness or being indecisive about making the decision um, that is important to you. Now, this is a general reading, so... Whatever that is, you have to apply the messages, um, you know, to that situation because I'm trying to cover all areas and aspects of your life. OK, so whether it's a, a decision about a relationship or a friendship uh, could be, you know, something going on in the family structure, of course, uh, something to do with uh, work, the work environment. Uh, but you're almost like floating. You know, you're you're going to be in the clouds, feel like you're going to be in the clouds. OK, with this thing, uh, this card showing up in the reverse. Also, too, it could be a. Um, for some of you dealing with the energies of the air uh, signs, Gemini, Libra. Aquarius, male or female, and their energy may be it may be not. Your energy direct, it may be their energy where they're coming across as you know feeling like they're indecisive about making the decision so i just want to put that out there too so it may be that some of you are dealing with um an air sign and they're coming across as being indecisive but also too the week is just at least for me and telling you that there could be some sort of uh indecision a week of indecisiveness okay now this doesn't necessarily have to be an air sign it could be any zodiac sign that you may be dealing with um and j they're just unsure or they're not certain about something that is uh important now i feel that you know because it's the prince it's not as high as the king or the queen so it's still up there in terms of importance, but it, but it may not be that significant. So it all depends on how the energy affects you and what you're dealing with. Next up now we have, um, and it could be directly related to that Prince of Swords showing up, is the Death Card, Major Arcana, Major Life Event. Now, this is all about having to let go and release something old to allow something new to come in. Uh, this could be, um, you know, the relationship. And maybe this is why, like I said before, the Seven of Swords is showing up is a week of indecisiveness. So some of you may be pondering about whether or not you want to let go of a relationship that's no longer resonating with you. It could be a friendship. It could be a job. It could be having to make you know, a decision about a family, something uh, going on in the family structure that's important. But this card shows up for you to uh, to release it, to get to the point of uh, allowing yourself to release that energy and let it go because it's not serving you any, it's not resonating with you, basically, okay? And then once you release it, Then something new will come your way. Okay. So, and also, too, this is a week of for some of you uh, having to grieve. Now, I did say, I did mention that in, I think, Leo's video, but I'm not going to spend too much time on, you know, whatever that is for you. Okay. I think this may be a week of uh, grieving. Yeah, so I'll just leave it at that, okay? Um, anyway, the card that's up next is another major arcana. It's the devil card, okay? So this represents Capricorn. So it could be that uh, some of you, and it's in the upright, so some of you are maybe having to deal with these two that are paired together. The death card and the devil card is actually uh, talking about addictions because the devil represents uh, not only... Um, 
Capricorn, but it also represents addictions. Whatever the addictions some of you may be dealing with, smoking, drinking, drugs, alcohol, it could be sex, shopping, you know, ruminating thoughts, repetitive thinking with the death card and the devil card showing up. The devil card also represents some of you may be feeling bound and restricted to a situation that could be a job it could be a relationship it could be something going on in terms of your of your thought processes you know just keep thinking about the same shit over and over and over again and you can't seem to release it well then that becomes an addiction because it's a repetitive pattern um but because like i said these two are paired together in this reading for you so there is definitely an emphasis for some Virgos that I'm reading for of having to let go of something that no longer serves your highest good or your purpose okay and the devil card is also unleashed the shackles or the feeling that uh, you're bound to a situation it could be a relationship it could be that some of you are addicted to another person and you have difficulties trying to release them through the uh, seven of, I'm sorry, the prince of swords that's showing up in reverse. Remember I said something about feeling like you're in the clouds this week and having to be indecisive. So all of this is representative and connected to the death card and the devil card. Okay, so um, the very last card, Friday going into the uh, weekend, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So this definitely represents your um, energy. And then also, too, because this is Capricorn, the Devil card represents Capricorn. So it could be that Virgos, some Virgos that I'm reading for are in a relationship with either another Earth sign or a direct Capricorn, or it could be any Zodiac sign. And then the messages that I had mentioned before could... Um, be going on in your life in terms of experiences with someone who either you feel bound or trapped or it could be their energy towards you someone just feels restricted here definitely restricted and it's also a week for uh, some possible bad habits are old addictions resurfacing so you know you may be one of those people that i'm reading for that uh, quit smoking a week ago or a month ago and then you something happens you know that leads you back into smoking you know drinking so it could be anything so old habits and addictions resurface for some of you this upcoming week seven of pentacles is in the upright so this is all about having options and this is also too about um, specifically about the work environment. OK, so I feel that there's uh, a Virgo or two that I'm reading for. It's not getting along with someone uh, in terms of the uh, environment, job environment. This is also uh, if I took it one step further, it could be for those single Virgos. Many options for you. Friday going into the weekend to explore it's not like you just have one option there may be you know uh, many options for those Virgos who are dating single and it could be with another earth sign since the disc represents your energy but it could also represent Taurus Capricorn male or female okay yeah but I'm just getting a oh okay now this one just hit me too the death card may be showing up because the seven of pentacles at the end, the seven of disc at the end could be for some of you um, maybe going in or undecided about possibly uh, some of you are moving into a retirement. Making a decision about whether or not you want to uh, leave your job, uh, sever ties with your job with the sword. And moving into retirement. This is what I'm getting. Something about a retirement. And it may be that for those that I'm speaking of that's uh, pondering either leaving, severing a job or retiring. It may be due to 
um, you thinking that you don't have enough money to retire or something to do with finances though it's connected to this seven of pentacles or if you retire then you, you'll be because uh, some of you may not have the retirement age and you may take a loss when it comes to the seven of pentacles so that might be where the seven of swords is showing up in the reverse as being undecided okay like i said i'm trying to broaden the messages for you virgo and give you as much as i possibly can um but i am getting a, something about a severance of a job possible retirement or just someone who um put in enough years but they may feel like you know they're tired of doing the work that they're doing and want to move on to something else but they are thinking about the finances here now Friday going into the weekend okay so that's your reading um Virgo the uh, golden path oracle card that I have selected for you <laughs> okay is bondage okay this is definitely in line with the devil card bondage and what bondage says here uh Virgo is if you feel trapped it is because you have in some way created your own bondage you are a beautiful soul full of great wisdom, compassion, and love. It is time to free yourself from the guilt and negative thoughts that keep you prisoner. Hence, the devil card, feeling bound and trapped. And I said repetitive thought processes keep going over and over. So this card is definitely um, for some of you who need to hear this. Allow the sacred rhythm of life to throw, oh, excuse me, <laughs> Allow the sacred rhythm of life to flow through you. You can do and be anything you want and go anywhere you want. Stop focusing on the negative and you will see the positive side. Your mental attitude can make things seem good or bad and what you think you become. Okay, so this is just a snippet for um, bondage. And it complements the reading very well, especially with the devil card. So if there's something that you feel bound or trapped uh just know that it could be just your own mental mind feeling that way and the reading is asking for you to try to or at least try your best to release any energies uh that doesn't serve your purpose or your highest good okay so as a before and as always if the above reading doesn't resonate with you virgo these oracle cards are drawn because there may be a message in there for you that does and vice versa okay so thank you virgo once again for visiting my channel i do appreciate you uh and i do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead sending out a lot of positive vibes to you all until the next time uh i wish you all love and light take care virgo bye